Hey, what's up? My name is Cameron Doherty, and today we've got a quick review on some very practical lights from Logitech. The Litra Glow and Litra Beam are two different lights that are both targeted at creators. It says so right up here on the box. However, I think that they're perfect for anyone who works from home. And if you work from home, then you're probably familiar with this. Now, this is my actual webcam filming in my actual office that I actually use for my actual day job. And without any proper lighting, it looks pretty terrible. So this is where the Litra products come in. Both lights are USB powered via the included USB-A to USB-C cable and allow adjustments to both the brightness and color temperature. Now you can do that either through the Logitech Options Plus software, which includes some presets for different scenes, or you can do it via the convenient buttons on the back of the device, which we'll take a look at momentarily. The Litra Beam retails for $100, but can be found closer to $94 today. And it goes for a max 400 lumen brightness, which is pretty bright. It also allows for color temperature adjustments between 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. And what that means is that you can go from looking like this to this and this to this, plus everything in between. The Litra Glow, on the other hand, is the smaller version of the beam. It only goes up to 250 lumens max, but has the same color temperature range of 2700 to 6500 Kelvin, and it retails for just $60. You can find it for about $55 today. And just for the same context, it goes from this to this and this to this. In case you're wondering, the webcam that I'm using is the C922 Pro from Logitech. It's a 1080p webcam, goes for about $80, has autofocus, and just kind of gets the job done for my video call needs. It also comes with this cute little tripod, which is a little flimsy, but if you don't have a place to mount it otherwise, it can be pretty helpful. But let's get back to the lights. In my experience, both of these lights are great, and there's plenty of adjustability to find the right lighting given your circumstances. What I find myself doing throughout the day is just making small tweaks here and there based on the lighting conditions in the room and the light coming in from outside. Now, the adjustment options on both are super easy and intuitive. The buttons are big enough and easy to feel without looking so that you can make adjustments as they're above your monitor. The two key differences between the two lights are number one, the size and shape and number two, the mounting mechanisms. The glow is smaller and more concentrated. This means that when you have it on at a high setting, it can be a little bit harsher on the eyes. It also means if you're somebody like me that wears glasses, you have the possibility of having a reflection that is square and sort of large. The beam is long and skinny, which I find to be less stressful on the eyes because the light is spread out over a larger area. I also think that the long line reflection in glasses is slightly less distracting personally, but your mileage may vary. For mounting, the Glow has a standard monitor mount like you'd find on most webcams. The Beam, on the other hand, comes with this shockingly heavy base. It allows you to mount the light in a lot of different ways, but it also means that you have to have this very large base on your desk. For my desk, I try to minimize clutter as much as possible since Constantly having tech around to review creates enough of that as it is. So for me, the monitor mount is the way to go. However, I prefer the larger, more powerful beam light. This means that for the moment, I've resorted to a janky Gorillapod mounting mechanism on the back of my monitor arm. Thankfully, both lights attach via a standard tripod mount, which means you can find alternative solutions, like I did, should you need to. Logitech targets these lights at creators, but I don't think that really makes sense. Unless you're a really small streamer or doing something else that requires you to be at your desk at all times, most creators are gonna opt for larger lights that have more power and also more diffusion. These lights are great though for work from home because your webcam is gonna be relatively lower quality than what a content creator is gonna be using. And it gives you the flexibility to be able to have good lighting without breaking the bank and also just being way better than a cheap ring light or something like that that most people would buy for work from home. So if you agree and you think this is the right light for your work from home environment, check out the links down in the description. They are affiliate links, which means it's a great way to support the channel if you want more content like this in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in the next one.